it's Dr. Tracy Papa. I hope you enjoyed last week's episode. Catherine Ross is just an amazing sonographer, and she was able to talk you through what happens during your OB ultrasound. Today, let's find out a little bit more about her. She's got more initials after her name than I do, and she's going to talk to us about how she became interested in ultrasound and why OB ultrasound and high-risk OB ultrasound in particular, and what it takes to be able to do what she does. Hi, my name is Katherine Ross. I am RDMS and abdomen, ob -GYN, RVT, and RDCS in fetal echocardiography. I also hold certificates in nucleotranslucency, nasal bone, and my clear for transvaginal cervical length assessment. I always knew that I wanted to be in the medical profession. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. It was between a dental hygienist or a sonographer. My mom actually worked at a dental practice. The dental hygienist brought me into her office and said, you need to look into ultrasound. You have the perfect personality for that. You need to go into ultrasound. I said, okay, I'll look into it. So I, I researched, I did a lot of research on different specialties and what I could go into. And I was just so fascinated by the fetal heart. I don't know what it was, but I just wanted to know everything there possibly was about the fetal heart. So I started to apply to programs around the area, Weatherford College, and I went into my interview and I just, the first question I asked, how do I get fetal echo certified? That was the first question. I knew I wanted to do high risk OB and I wanted to do fetal echo. So that's as soon as I graduated, that's what I began to pursue and that's just where I ended up. I wasn't gonna stop until I got here. Once you decide that you want to do ultrasound, you have to research programs in the area that you'd like to apply to. These different programs hold different prerequis prerequisites for that program. You need to get your associates and also these particular classes they will require. Usually they require like anatomy and physiology one and two, physics, different science classes like biology, chemistry, and then obviously your basics. So once you get all these prerequisites and you obtain your associate's degree, you can now begin to apply to the programs you'd like to. A lot of times there are over a thousand to two thousand applicants for this specific program. The program I went to opens up a new class every year. So that's one year for thousands of applicants applying. They pick the 25 best applicants and they interview those 25. After the interview they pick 12 to 15 potentially for the class. So out of a thousand or more applicants a year or maybe even two to 3,000 a year, only 12 sonographer, potential sonographers will be chosen for this program. The program uh, is typically two years. Most programs you go to will teach you general, the abdomen, they'll teach you pelvic, they'll teach you vascular. You, they'll kind of teach you three different areas so you can be universal in ultrasound. And that's where you can pick, I wanna do general, I wanna do vascular, I wanna do OB, or there are some hospitals and positions, you may be able to do all of them. The one thing that sonographers need is perseverance. The first time I applied to the program, I was not accepted. I didn't get accepted for the interview process. I didn't get a call back, nothing. So what did I do? I went and got my certified nursing assistant license. I worked in an emergency room to just obtain a little bit more medical experience and just get my foot in the door. I applied the next year and I got in. It just takes work and it takes dedication and motivation. But if this is really what you wanna do, if you have passion for it, it doesn't matter what hoops you have to jump. You will do whatever it takes to get in this position. I love what I do. I wouldn't be happier doing anything else. And I just love babies and the fetal heart. The next step for me is I wanna get my bachelor's and master's in healthcare administration to just help this aspect of ob -GYN and MFM even more. I want to grow myself and I want to grow the practice that I'm in to be the best that it can. Wasn't that great? Catherine is such a blessing to our program. We are so very lucky to have her. If ultrasound sounds like something that you'd like to do, we're always looking for people with that kind of energy and motivation. Don't forget to like this video, um, connect with me on Facebook, and most of all, connect with me on my website, drtracypapa.com. If you subscribe, I'll send you all kinds of great free material, and you'll be able to get weekly updates.